Thank you to Manscaped and Shopify for sponsoring the channel this week. More on them after the reaction. Citizens of the Reject Nation, it's me, Tara Erickson, alongside my dear friend. We've been watching all the saws. Tell him your name. My name's Aaron Motherfrickin' Alexander. Oh, he had a motherfrickin' in the middle. Oh, he is so ready to saw it down, and so am I. So don't forget to leave a like. You gotta leave a comment and ring the bell. Ring the bell. Yeah. That was great. Also, thanks, Prepper, for helping us edit down these videos. Also, if you want us to call you super sexy, get in the sexy game, you got to get on Patreon, okay? You can watch and sync up with the entire copy. Watch all Saw 9 with me and Aaron. You know what I'm saying? Also, Greg and John offer exclusive highlights and watch alongs over there on the Patreon. So if you know what's good for you, you know, get it. Get with it. Also, follow us on social media. I'm at Tara Erickson and Aaron, tell them. I'm at the real Aaron Alexander. Cool. yes. Get on top of it. Should we just get into it? I'm stoked. Let's get into it. I'm ah. So this one actually came out in 2021. It's like Really? Yeah, really recently. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I did not realize that. That is very recent. Okay, rude. Hey, he's got my purse! Hey, buddy. Stop it. Hey, stop. You did not just go down there. Oh. Oh. Uh. This off duty cop has got some style. Yes. Yeah, he looks like nice he belongs on a, on a yacht. A yacht. He's ready to rock. <laughs> oh, Floridian, too. <laughs> yeah. Get your hands in the air. Oh, there he is. Mother. <laughs> is that Billy? <laughs> Look. Oh. No, it's not the oh. puppet. That was a real big face. Yo. That didn't even look fake, you guys. Oh, yeah, that was hyper realistic right there. Whoa. Oh, man. Oh, no, thank you with that. And I'll also, stop moving around. Once again, also looks like a movie. Looks like a movie. Yeah. <laughs> Very cinematic right off the top. I like these extreme close ups. Yep, yep. Like the clarity. Whoa. His tongue? Oh. Okay. Oh no. Oh, that's that's messed up. Yo. Yikes. Hello, Detective Bosswick. What? I want to play a game. The three train is arriving in two minutes. New voice. I think it's a woman. You have taken the witness stand many times and railroaded innocent people with your lies, putting them away in jail. Today. It is you who will be railroaded. Tear from your mouth the tongue that has so often been used to lie and to deceive. Uh, Only your weight will rip away your lying oh tongue and save you. Oh my god. Live or die. Oh, that's so oh awful. Oh my god, it's oh, terrible. Hanging by his tongue. Oh, that's... Mm. Uh, that's so whoa. Whoa. That's no, crazy. you can't break out of it, buddy. Come on now. Mm, I don't just want it. it just come on, just jump down and rip it off. Come the on. The train's gonna hit you, man. It's gonna. It's coming for you. Let's. Oh, oh this is so God, this is the worst. I don't want to see it. <gasps> oh. Oh God. Yeah, you're, you're done. I mean, you're you're, it's all too late. You got, you did a double. You did the tongue thing and the train thing. You could not. You uh, lost two for one, buddy. God, why? Uh, <laughs> I don't want it. Gross. Spiral from the Book of Saw. Oh, the book. Special needs abuse. Special needs? Are you woke now? I'm not woke, but you can't say handicap. You can't say. You gotta say special needs. I'm trying to be respectful. Uh -huh. <laughs> what was the name of the girl? Jenny. 
He did everything for Jenny. This mother did some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who the f is nicer than Forrest Gump? His best friend was a and a white boy with no legs. <laughs> <laughs> and she still wouldn't. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Never forget. I know we're gonna stand with special on this song. <laughs> no, Rico just got off the elevator. Shit. Let's do this. Can you forgive me for my sin? Different music. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we giving that away? <laughs> different. <laughs> what? Okay. Very different vibe for a song movie. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, whoa, that is a load of cash. Oh, and some cocaine. Oh, dang. Some coco cabana. I think this is the biggest star we've had in a song movie so far. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, nice. Okay. A Mustang? Fancy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Love it. Got so close. Is that you? Oh. You do an undercover op. You don't clear it. There's no coordination. We are homicide. Oh. That crew killed four people last week, and we got them. And we could have got more of them if my cover wasn't blown. On your own, as usual, no backup. Because there's nobody on the force. I can fuck. <laughs> You're going to learn to be a team player. You're getting a partner. Jeannie, send Shanky. Do I look like a f Jamaican nanny? <laughs> <laughs> Just because your dad was chief Marcus Banks doesn't mean you get out of this shit. 12 years ago, I turned in a dirty cop. I get a medal for it. I also got a bullet, and I got to look over my back for the rest of my career. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Zeke, I want you to meet Detective in Training William Shank. There's a lot more stars in this. Like everyone I see works all a lot. Oh yeah, you recognize everybody. Yeah, I recognize. Yeah, his, I guess partner. I can't remember. I've seen him before, but I know I've seen. I him can't before. remember either. But okay. oh oh okay. oh, gross. Okay. Got hazed. Uh, was it a joke or was that real? I think that was a real, a real mouse, a real uh, rat. You don't want to be my partner. You don't know that. Your dad's the reason for all of this. Sam Jackson. Mm. Banks and Shank. Some homeless guy got hit by the three train. You're up. Different music yet again. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. New vibes. He's got a Camaro and I love it. Detective Banks en route to that 1019. This is the Urban Saw movie. <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed. I'm down for Black Saw. Let's go. <laughs> My wife Emma, this is my son Charlie. Cute. Enjoy it while it lasts. Nothing happier than the wife of a new detective. Nothing more angry than that same bitch 10 years later. Ha. <laughs> I'm half Italian, trust me. Women do not like it when you call them. Yeah, what are you telling me about women, young mother? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Guessing you divorced. I'm going through a divorce. Kind of like chemo. Shit, sorry. Sorry for what? We're cops. This is the life we choose. Highest divorce rate. Highest. Great. When you decide to become a cop, you pretty much assured yourself you were gonna die alone. I thought dentists had the highest died rate. Is that true? I think so. I I've never heard that until this moment. We're gonna have to unpack that later. I don't know what that means <laughs> for dentists. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. Hey, you can get away with a lot of shit in the daytime. So you can ride okay. a lot of before dusk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Pilates doesn't even exist. Emma loves Pilates. I'm sure she does. I'm huh. sure she does. But don't worry about it. You're going to be fine. I love this long, this long tracking take. shot. That's great. Yeah. I love that. I hope there's more of those. Chris Rock doing He's rocking bits. it. He's rocking it. <laughs> yeah. Chris is rocking it. Damn. Uh-oh. Yeah. This bum's going to be tough to ID. I'm not too sure this is a bum. I don't know a lot of bums trying to get their steps in. Huh. Yeah, why do they automatically assume it was a homeless a guy? Right. Rude. 
Maybe because they assume like no standard citizen is just going to walk down there. Like how would they even... Because it's hit. gross, what they, I guess. What is it? Does enough homeless people get hit by trains for them to assume that that's the automatic? I guess. Or they <laughs> live down there, right? Oh, okay, fair, fair. Still rude. Still rude. <laughs> this package just came in. So made. I think his made. partner's from Yellowstone. You guys Yellowstone. can tell us, I, I think. Yeah, I feel like that was an assumption made to make our main characters look smarter. <laughs> <laughs> Play me. Oh, we're moving into the USB stage of song. Yes, throwbacks. Hello, Detective Banks. One officer from your station refused to be reformed. He will not be the last to play my game. Jigsaw? I thought the Jigsaw killer was dead. Yeah, but if it's another copycat, I recognize that building. What are you guys doing here? Oh, we thought your boys might need some backup. You fix, it's not your case. Yo, Zeke. If him and that girl have something to do with it, the pickups on their faces are giving it away right here at the top. <laughs> are you talking about that girl? That girl and that guy had weird pickups. Like they've, yeah, yeah. we'll just see. If they are involved, I'm going to be like, oh, they were giving slight details away in their pickup shots. Is that a f ton? Feels like. Uh, Gross. 453. Who's 453? Dental records confirm it's Buzz. Someone needs to call Kara, his wife, let her yeah, know. He already called her. Do you know Kara? No. Do they have a dead husband emoji? I talked to her, asshole. We had to notify her before it leaked to the press. Me and the rope were first on scene. Isn't this protocol? Now you're part of the team again, Z. Oh, that's the reason for the weird pickups. Okay, mm. drama. When all you mother would treat me like shit, shoot me in my back, Buzz was my friend. You didn't realize your friend was gone? I get why you want this. Boz was my friend too, but you can't do this alone. I need the whole department on this working together. Boz is my family, man. You gotta let me take lead. You gotta let me catch this mother. <laughs> that script was funny. It's weird because they wanted to be funny, but they also trying to make him serious at the same time. Right. It's strange choice. Banks is taking lead. I know some of you guys think I'm a rat. Some of you think I'm a snitch. Some of you are mad. I've your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Boz was last seen at Stewart's Point, so there should be plenty of surveillance footage. So check your hashtags. Hey! So what did he know? He was chasing someone. We need to focus on the case and solve this. So get the footage to Detective Banks and put your personal shit aside. O'Brien, you good? No problem here, Captain. What did he ride out? Like, why do they hate him so much? Like, what did he, he must do, have, like, right? really effed up. Pissed off the whole department. It's okay. Whoever did this, gonna fuck you. I don't understand. How did it happen? Kara, your mother's on the phone. Lisa. Mystery. Brian here? No, my sister's watching him. Rhonda gets to see my son, but I don't. Are we really gonna do this here? Not today. Hey, I'm William. Stop. Z's partner. Yep. <laughs> so this is like struck. Damn. Hmm. So this is a uh, structured differently. This is like a cop drama yeah. with a saw mystery. Exactly. We uh. we have not hit a game. Because normally like a saw thing going on while there's a cop story going on. Right, and we're just solidly following this. Did Boz say anything or act stressed out? There was one thing. There was a black SUV parked outside one night last week, and he walked up, and I don't know. The next thing I know, he was yelling at somebody inside. Any idea what you were yelling about? If I see it again, I'll get a license plate. Oh, dad. You pull a gun on your old man? Huh. <laughs> I could have killed you. What are you talking about? I got the gun. I could have killed you. <laughs> <laughs> Jigsaw copycat. That could be difficult. A lot of responsibility. You got a problem with that? Or are you just scared I'm going to embarrass you? This ain't about you. That's the shit that ruins your career and your marriage. <laughs> We live in the same building. I saw you out front the other day. You nodded at me like we were the only two black guys in the mall. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't had a meal together in over a year. Well, That's funny. Are you hungry? You want to go get a slice? Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm going to go to Kara's, pay my respects. Just come over tonight. I'll order some food. We'll go over the case. I got this, Dad. <laughs> Who needs you? <laughs> Man, family of cool cars, huh? 
right? They got <laughs> style, man. It's got mad whips left and right. 12 years ago, I turned in a dirty cop. Hey! What happened? What happened? He pulled a gun on me. The witness pulled a gun on me. Wow, they really turned their back on that hard, even though that cop accidentally killed a witness I mean, or accident. killed. Because they're like, he turned his back on their own. Oh, got it. Because I thought maybe he just was like. His friend was also dirty, which is why the jigsaw copycat killed him. John Kramer. Now we're connecting the dots. Well, why don't you check with digital forensics and see if anybody in Boss's phone log has a black SUV? Your phone's dead. You got a charger? Let me borrow your phone. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> don't drain my battery watching Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> Even though this is shot more cinematically, it is moving like a TV episode. And there is a lot of TV actors in this, besides Chris and besides, obviously, Samuel. The other ones, I feel like they're from cop dramas. Yeah, it's plotted like a cop drama. Yes, yes. Like, this would be 45 minutes and then we have to get to the next episode. Right, right. Not bad, just different different pacing than the other ones. It's different pacing, but we also had the traps to like counterbalance some of that yes. cop drama. Right. Who's that he's chasing? I know that guy. Benny Wrights. He's a hustler. Flops in a burnt out bread factory down on twelfth. Okay. Deals with a pusher street named Spees. I'll take the building. You track down Spees. Let me see that gun over there. The one on the left. On behalf of the Metro Police, I want to thank you for your generosity. This guy's an asshole. Why? Yeah, you suck. I hate him. I got shit to do. I'm out. What's his deal? He's a crooked piece of shit. They all Let's are. Just call it a night. <laughs> you sure? I think the way this is going, our uh, our jigsaw copycat has to be in the force. Has to be. I'm going to throw a Hail Mary. I'm going to say it's the chief. <laughs> Love that. The woman? Yeah. Yeah. Good work today. Or him. Yeah, because he, he was the only one that seemed chill and, like, whatever. So I was like, oh, if they're trying to do a... They're trying to throw us off the scent. Yeah, the re Could I be think the, the trophy reversal is, like, the guy who's the closest to the main character. Yeah. He's going to learn to trust him over the course of the story when he's actually the guy who's behind it all. Then again, what if, what if it's his dad? <laughs> oh, you think, you think <laughs> Sam Jackson could be behind it? No, but, like, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. This movie gets me... I'm like, they're all it. All oh. the saws make me think every each and every one each and every person is a new jigsaw <laughs> before <laughs> until we get to the end. Wake up, Benny. Is it a dead Come person? On, oh, it's a fake person. You all right? Everybody's wearing these like are you little fake or are you dead? Yacht hats. Cool. Oh, fedora. <laughs> ah, I don't like Ooh, that. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you're fake. Leave me a message. Gross. Call me. Hello. Mm. Yeah, they're trying to frame it like a traditional like, serial killer kind of, like what's going on kind of thing. Oh, boy, we're about to get a trap, though. Okay, here we go. Let's get into the games. There's been Whoa. people yelling in the audience, like, where's the game? Right. <laughs> Throwing popcorn at the screen. Oh. Ew. Ooh. Oh, and a finger trap I don't want. I don't like it. Mm. So I'm going to guess he's not part of it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he's not in on it. He's not yet. Whoa, what an interesting trap. But he though. is an asshole. He is. A and he is dirty. So we know we now know why it's happening. He's dirty, but now he's in the water about to get clean. Hello, Detective Fitch. I want to play a game. I want to play a game. We're not going to watch him play? What are you doing up? I told you to take the rest of the night off. Uh, it's fine. Charlie's sleeping. Was sleeping. Just waiting for Emma to get home. She's having a girl's night. You better be careful with that. It's his mm -hmm. wife! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm looking through all the Metro records like you asked, and Boz was accused of lying on the stand more than anybody. That's why the tongue was at the courthouse. Can I help you? Taroni. Are you Marcus Banks? You know that place? Yeah, that's in L.A. No, I'm his son. No, it's a Roni delivery. It's good? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Good pasta. All right, pasta. Dad! Uh-oh. Dad's at the warehouse killing that cop you don't like, <laughs> if I'm right, which I could be totally wrong. What are you doing? Okay, what's going on here, Dad? Where is... 
see. How the did you not call me first? I tried, but you didn't answer. <laughs> that goatee, though. Yep. Because you would have talked me out of it. I told the truth. Get the f out of my face, Z. Knew I should have never let him become a cop. But he turned in a dirty cop. Pete was a scumbag. And what about the other cops? WF Action News here. Are you in? Oh. Oh. God damn. All right. Sorry, but I think your face was trespassing on my property. Is there something I can help you with? No. no. Fuck you very much. <laughs> <laughs> They're unbelievable father and son. I don't think I've ever seen them in a movie together before. No, I haven't either. Mm. Thanks. Incoming. On my desk. The courier brought it. We're holding him for questioning. It's weird to me he uses the tissue to open the box and he didn't have gloves on when he touched the actual thing. <laughs> Just have to say that out loud. <laughs> Hello, Detective Banks. Salvation was offered, but it was declined with the police department. 12th Street Bridge, I know that place. Until you come clean, many more will die. I take it back, it's not the cop lady. Guys, I might have been wrong. That might be a Trans Am, not a Camaro. So just before you get in the comments and get crazy. Crazy? I got one one guess right. <laughs> Damn. Gross. Oh, is that a real one? Yep. A pig. Gnarly. This one's really into the pig motif. They're like yep. leaning in hard. <laughs> and these Tiffany boxes. And we think this copycat's working alone. Fingies. Yes. Nora, I don't know yet. 982. Stitch. This is Detective Beck requesting backup. It has to be his dad. I mean, there's like so much that like people met. I mean, it doesn't have to be. I don't know. If it is his dad, I feel like his dad has a partner in it. Yeah, and he's like, he's helping take vengeance upon what's happened to, him. I guess, his son. Because clearly this is a personal story, like someone who has a vendetta against the, the police department. Yes. My son called for backup three times in eight minutes. Did none of you mother you get here? I'm going to call dispatch and find out when I do, I'm going to take this gun and shoot that mother. <laughs> mm. Bitch, it was you. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, damn. Whoa. <laughs> damn. Samuel Jackson doesn't give a F, dude. <laughs> I don't think Samuel Jackson. I know. It now like it's, it's too heavy style. handed. Now, <laughs> I know. Now <laughs> it's just... like, if it is, it's way too, it's laid on too thick. So there's got to be a switch. Yeah. Like right there. It can't be. It's really just like beat him with a door or shoot him. Right. I don't think he totally. He's not going to do all this. Trap. Yeah, you're right. In 90 seconds, the water will rise to the height of the copper wires. You will be electrocuted. You murdered a man because he insulted you. Put your hands where I can see the mother. Wow. Ooh. Survival is simple, but it comes with a sacrifice. Whoa. Oh, pull off your fingers. A device in your mouth, which will start the motor that will rip your fingers away, leaving you free to escape with your life. Live or die, make your choice. Let the games begin. I kind of like that he just bit down and there wasn't a lot. A lot of times with the people, they're like, what do I do? Right. And like, he find... just like got to it. Yeah, he accepted it pretty quickly. Yikes. Woof. That is rough. Oh. oh my God, no, uh, it makes me feel things. Ooh. <laughs> no, oh. Bite down, bite down. Oh God. Do yourself. <laughs> Do you see the title? Oh, this is rough. have gotten better. This is so rough. Uh. Nope. I think he's. Oh my god! Oh my god! Wasn't fast enough. You weren't fast enough. 
Anything special about the bridge where he found the fingers? It was where he shot that kid. This guy, Benny Wrights, who Boz was last seen with on July 4th. We took it off a pawn shop feed in Stewart Point. And you didn't tell me. They don't tell him anything. And this is where Benny gets his uh. mouth. This is some New Jack City shit. <laughs> get the f out of here. Come back when you get some money. I got some money. Like, hold up a second. Hold up a second. All right? All right? Sit it down, baby. Uh. He's got 10 seconds. Come on. Christ. Is it a bomb? Oh, rough. Ooh. Damn. No, thank you. Back inside. Get back inside. Whoa. Uh, 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 so red in there. Oh, whoa. Damn. Yeah, okay. No way they didn't get a hit. <laughs> wow, all right. Ooh, ooh. Eee. You seen this man before? I don't know shit. Why? Because you're worried about that bone sticking out your leg? Ah! Ooh. Ah. Everybody knows that mother Benny Ritz. When was the last time you saw him? I seen a bitch in two days, man. Out on the streets of my mother road deed. Oh, we know Benny's dead. I want Chinese food. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. What do you like to get? Fried rice, chicken thinking. fried rice. I'm a combination of fried rice kind of guy. <sighs> Shrimp fried rice, if I had oh, to pick yeah. one though. Oh yeah. Who the hell is this guy? Ex cop, partner snitched on him, had to do nine years. Hard time. System spit him out. So far, this movie's largely disconnected from all the other Saw movies. Absolutely, and way slower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Pete? 18 months sober, living in the church basement. Who could ask for anything more? Detective Shank, working kids together. I never thought I'd say this, but we need more Saw in our Saw movies. Yeah. <laughs> and you saw it, I mean, with your own eyes. He's had his foot on the neck of this community for way too long. I'll testify, Officer Dunleavy. That's rough. Right. I was mad for a long time, but now I take responsibility. I should have never pulled the trigger. And we got nine years for that? Yeah, that's a low amount of time. We were out of control. Cops were given their own discretion to crack down on crime. Got nine years for murder. Yeah. Straight up, like, point blank. What the hell? You shot an innocent guy, but you turned on him. There's a code, and you better learn how to follow it, or you're going to spend the rest of your life watching your back. Maybe it's a good thing they made his partners. I feel like it's him. Yeah, it's like giving off a vibe, right? Because we don't know much about him, but he's he's here taking on all the information. Yeah. I feel and like someone cared about it? him died, and that's why he's doing this. Yeah. So he's passing it what? I'm like, is he passing info to his dad? Or did his dad go in that warehouse and then the saw person took his dad? Because his, like... His dad's dad, his dad's still missing. Maybe Right. Like, why did we see that pickup of the dad at the warehouse? That I'm like... Shaq, it's 9 a.m. Wait a Yeah. Party. Give me a call. So I got to go back to... Been okay. That. Hey! Hey! What's going on? What's going on? Hands up! Hands Ooh. Up. Hands up. Okay. Hands up. Mr. Delivery Guy. Get him out of here. No way, Zeke. That one is not the same. I'm calling the bomb squad. Yeah, I was like... We got two dead cops. There's no time. Get everybody out. Everybody out! Everybody out! Is it beeping? No, but, like, I would assume the same thing. I'm like, protocol would be, like, get the bomb squad, right? Hey, like, Screw protocol, I guess. Ooh. Ooh, it's got the saw eyes. Two yeah, saw eyes. yeah. Ew, God, that little puppet. Am I getting under your skin, Detective Banks? Oh, it's his kid? My wife, Emma, this is my son, Charlie. Oh. 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 His partner got kidnapped. Shoot. Oh, no. Captain, there's something under here. Play me. Play me. Play so it can't be his dad if his dad is like, I had that wrong. Constantine paints. Maybe this is a misdirection. Yeah, I trust like, nothing. I Me mean, neither. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah. there it is. Your skin. Mm. We're analyzing the tape recording. Hello, Detective Shane. I want to play a game. You were head of your class at the police academy. But there was he was obviously skinned. There's no game there. That doesn't make sense. 
The dad's the reason I want to do this in the first place. He's working with the dad. Snatch past feet, rip the skin it won't. from the And that skin off your back. I mean, it's a good thing they made his partners. Cap, don't believe it. Not for a second. Do you think he's really dead? No, I feel like because just only that part, right? Because, right. Because like, here's the thing. How would the killer know that if it wasn't the partner, how would he know about the tattoo or that he informed him about the tattoo? Because he's talked to him right. about the son. How would someone outside would the of their dynamic know, know yeah, that? Because he's new. So I feel like then the killer probably sent him in, mm-hmm. sent Charlie in already at the top. Because... I think Charlie's the detective's son. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, because that's why he got it tattooed on him. Yes. Hey, O'Brien. Yeah, boss. You seen Zeke? No, not for a while. Oh, yes, I knew that because he was like, my son is Charlie. I meant like the killer probably, I was calling the guy, uh, the guy Charlie, I forget his name. The rookie cop. The rookie. I feel like the killer sent the, sent the rookie in from the top, maybe. I don't know. My theory is that the rookie and his dad are working are together. Are working together. Somehow, I I agree with you, but also trust no one. <laughs> Some guy in a pig's mask. He runs up on me with a knife. He just wanted to mess with the cops. Careful. While you're looking for more bodies to drop, I'll take your head. Angie, you got a head in the apartment. Now, what did she do? Yeah, what, what what was that? I must have missed something here. What is she guilty for? Yeah, killing the, the rookie is such a, a lame misdirection because it doesn't make sense with the theme of trying to replicate the jigsaw oh, killer. Right. Oh, he's coming for her. So they're just taking out all the... Ruh-roh. I want to play a game. It's hilarious that she already saw the pig. Okay. I was like, and she hasn't shot yet. Yeah. Come on now. It's probably fake, right? It's maybe it's. Yeah. Because it didn't move at all. It looked like it was on something. (laughs) Oh, well, okay. So you were wearing a gas mask under there, right? Otherwise, that don't make sense. Don't make no dang sense. Hello, Captain Garza. In a few seconds, boiling hot wax will be coming out of the pipe above you. The only way to stop yourself from being suffocated is to sever your spinal cord with the blade beneath your neck. (laughs) That's so messed up. Oh, God. That's awful. That's the worst. What a shitty parking job. Yeah. <laughs> right? Oh, God. Ooh. No, no. Just end it all. Uh, I, I it. don't want it. I hate it. I really don't want it. Killer has Angie. Look, I guess you didn't hear. The killer just attacked the cop at 3rd and Beeman. That was just a diversion to get us out of the precinct. She's down in the f- basement. Oh, God. This is terrible. No, I hate it. I hate it all. Hot wax. Just put your neck down. End it. Just end it. Open it! Oh. Yeah, she gone. She's dead. Oh, no. Please don't. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it! (laughs) Woo! God. Woof. That's uh, gross. I need all the footage from the cameras in the evidence room. Still have mixed feelings about um, Chris Rock as the lead, though. About the what? About him as the lead? Yeah, me too. Look, on the first frame, safe door is open, but on the next, it's shut. There's 13 minutes missing. I can't tell you who deleted the video, but I can access who logged into the server over the past day. Who's badge number 213? It's your partner. Dunleavy. He shouldn't have access. How long has it been since he was even on the job? Your father had access to the location of Shank's body. You said it was where your father took you as a kid. When was the last time you saw your father? He's been missing for a week. <laughs> now he's just, we're at the crux of the movie where he just parks diagonally in every frame. Doesn't, doesn't care anymore. No, he's losing it. He's losing his marbles. Leave a mess. Dad! Why have you not told anybody that your dad's missing? That's my question. Amongst all of this going on? Right. And why does... Yeah. Okay. All right, we're getting somewhere. Let's get it. 
Oh, there's his dad, finally. Okay. <laughs> okay, so his dad's gonna find him. So either his dad figured it out and then got kidnapped? I think figured it out. Because remember, he's like, come over for dinner, we'll talk about the case. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was like a throwaway, but obviously maybe he meant that and he did the work quickly and yeah. figured it out. I can, I can see that. Yeah, I, don't know. I definitely don't believe that he's a part of it anymore. Right. Oh, he knew the chief would figure it out. Okay. You want to play games, mother? Wait, is his... <laughs> mm -hmm. Gotta get that mother... <laughs> that little pig doll is the worst. <laughs> yeah, felt that coming. Duh. What? Yeah, right. Oh, they both can be kidnapped together, father and son style. The third act reveal where we get our crazy plan Let us to us. See here. Ooh, there's dad. Come on, detective with the mislead. There's the saw music, finally. Yeah. Back to being chained up on a pipe. Mm -hmm. Like the first one. Oh, okay. Oh my okay. God, and like the first one. Okay, yeah, so we're, we're getting taking it back to the vintage. Are you gonna sew off, uh, sew off your hand? Saw off your hand, saw off your hand. Oh. It's not gonna work. You're gonna break it's the not saw. Gonna work. Honey. We've we've learned this like from ten years ago, man. Oh, yeah, oh nice. Yeah. It was hidden under there to like undo the handcuffs. Definitely planted there. Because why would a bobby pin just be there? He wants you to get away. Really? Wow. Oh, oh. No. Pete? Is Pete his old partner? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right? When Peter Dunleavy murdered an innocent man, your career was shattered like glass. Can you stand on the sidelines while justice is finally served? Let the games begin. Oh, he's gonna get, like, fried to death? Or stretched to death. Like, is this like... Oh. Oh, hit with glass. Oh, snap. And it's going to come flying out at him? Mm-hmm. Don't do it. Oh. Ugh, yeah, no. Nope. Get the f out of there. Mm. Woo. 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 <laughs> oh, gnarly. Wow, that's, that's intense. Crazy. Oh, that was a big slice. You didn't even give him, like, five seconds, man. Nope. Come on, ass. It's weird. He didn't give him like rules. He was just like, you can save him or, or let him die. Let him die. But there wasn't any rules to the game. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, this guy's going to bleed out. He's got to be a goner. Because, yeah, this is his game, not his game. And throw away the key. Oh, throw away trash. <laughs> get it, get it, I'm get sorry, it. I'm sorry, it's not funny. His facial expressions are making me laugh. Here we go. We got some glass in his head. He's gone, dude. He's Hurry it up. He's 100% dead. Dang. That, that, yeah, he's going to get him undone gone. and that guy's going to bleed out. Bye bye. Come on, Woo. He's all glassed up, which means he's glazed over. Was he an Alcoholics Anonymous? Yeah, well, the partner was, but I don't know if Banks was, right? That's where the church, you met him at the church, the guy who. Yeah, yeah. Was but like Banks isn't an AA. You're saying the guy that just died, yes. Yeah. He ran the AA, yeah. Yeah. That death was probably a little ironic. He used to hit the Alcohol bottle the bottles. Yeah, him. yeah. Hitting that bottle a little too hard, except he was sober, so it's cruel. But he was cruel first. Yeah, I mean, that guy got away. He murdered someone and only did nine years. Which is insane. Yeah. Called it. Whoa. I called it. I called it. Hi, buddy. Too obvious. Yeah. 
I call that shit early too. Dun dun dun. No shit. <laughs> that was I've too been obvious. loyal to you since the first day we met, fifteen years ago. Ah. Uh. The day your partner killed my father. I knew it was. Con- oh, I knew they were yeah, related. yeah, yeah. You were like, it's I ca- his son. I, I said brother, but yeah. Oh my god, bro. Totally. Get out of here. <laughs> well, especially with the arm thing. With the arm, it was so it obvious. Was, that was a little too heavy handed. Because there's no game involved. It right. was just like a mystery. It was just here you go. Yeah. Pete killed Charlie Emerson. What, you thought I'd use my real name? What about your family? What, what about your son? Fake, fake, fake. I don't have a son. Charlie's sleeping. Was sleeping. Nice. Ooh, I tattooed my dad's name on his arm. Ah. Where the f is my father? I didn't even ask him to come down here. You did. Let me borrow your phone. Shut up. Okay. Oh, I deleted it. There's no um, text thread prior to that? Right. Was the first time you ever texted your dad? It's uh, not good continuity. Wait, he never tried to call his dad this entire time? Because if he blocked him on his own phone, wouldn't he? Correct, then he would not be able to get through. And he did but try to call his dad. But if you looked at his phone, wouldn't he be able to see that it was blocked? Correct. It would not. Spiral. Symbol of change. Let's face it, these cops, they're not going to clean up on the wrong. But we take... Tongue here, a few bones there, but come around. Let's do it. I want to trust you. But I can't. Oh. Oh, God. Article 8 was one of the most corrupt police policies in history. I guess it was your dad's right hand man, sorry, should I say, woman, the whole time. We'll handle it. We always do, huh? You watch my father die, and I'm trying to save yours. If we're going to trust each other. Yikes. Damn. They said an alibi, homie. Why don't come in? Oh, because that'll trip off. Okay. Mm. Got it. Your dad's the reason for all of this. He's why I want to do this in the first place. I've been dreaming about this since I was 12 years old. It seemed pretty obvious that it was him. What the? F- what? He just what? He goes in the elevator and goes away <laughs> with the whole Calvary in the room? What? Uh, you guys, what? <laughs> he just is there Nobody and says, sh- like, they don't, he's literally right there, and is, there's 35 people in the room. It's a secret. <laughs> okay. Mary Ballsmith reject nation. You know what the funny thing is? I already owned this product before agreeing to do this partnership. I could have used my influence ring to get it for free or at a discount. But hey, now you can get it at a discount. Because this week we are, of course, sponsored by Manscaped. As a married man who's always on the move, I value looking sharp while keeping things efficient. And that's where Manscaped's performance package 5.0 Ultra comes in. Featuring the Lawnmower 5.0 and it is a game changer. The package is honestly a perfect gift for yourself or for another man that you might know. I'll give this to John. If anyone asks, I pay for it out of my own pocket. But no, seriously, this is easily the best because it comes with not one, but two next-gen blade heads. See the difference? It's a good thing I have two now for demonstration purposes. So you got the standard trimmer for a perfect neat trim. But this one, the new foil blade for that super smooth finish. And oh yeah, it's all about safe grooming with their advanced skin safe technology. Plus, they're waterproof. So no more crumbs on the carpet. The package also includes the Weed Whacker 2.0 for ear and nose. And I definitely use this because look at me, I'm a hairy guy. And the must have liquid formations. The Crop Soother Aftershave Lotion and the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. Say goodbye to post shave irritation and hello freshness. And the ultimate cherry on top two free gifts Manscaped's Premium Boxers 2.0 and the Shed 2.0 Toiletry Bag. Again, I already have one. The boxers, I'm wearing my pair right now. And the bag is perfect for all your grooming essentials, as you can see. So, you ready to elevate your grooming game? Head to manscaped.com and use code REJECTS for a cool 20% off plus free shipping. Remember, it's REJECTS checks for 20% off at manscaped.com. Let's get those jingle balls holiday ready. 
with Manscaped. Thank you to Shopify for sponsoring, which is what we use for our merch store and is our game-changing partner in e-commerce. So whether you're launching a passion project or scaling to new heights, Shopify is the e-commerce powerhouse guiding you at every step. From creating your first online store to opening physical locations, Shopify makes it seamless. It's perfect whether you're selling exclusive merch or unique collectibles, thanks to their all-encompassing platform for both online and in-store sales. Their checkout system, unmatched! It's 36% more effective at converting visitors into buyers than other platforms. And let's not forget Shopify Magic, the AI tool that elevates your business with minimal effort. But seriously, reflecting on our journey using Shopify for www.rejectnationshop.com, it's been transformative. The transition, smooth, growth, exponential. Thank you again, Reject Nation. From simplifying sales to scaling our offerings, Shopify has been a cornerstone of our success. And Shopify isn't just for us. It powers 10% of U.S. e-commerce, backing businesses big and small in over 175 countries. Their award-winning support, always there to guide you. So ready to join the revolution? Sign up for Shopify at only a dollar a month at shopify.com slash rejects. All lowercase, shopify.com slash rejects. Start your Shopify success story now. Let's grow together with Shopify, team. What? Like, they recognize him that he's on the force? No, they didn't. This is like the SWAT team coming in, and he had civilian clothes on. Right. All right. Listen, I get upset, y'all. I get upset. Why? He said shh like that like they couldn't see. Okay. Uh. <laughs> New music. New music at the end here. New music. New music. New music at the end here. Hey. I like the music. I didn't like the movie, but I like the yeah. music. <laughs> oh, man. Take it away, man. This was disappointing. I think it's disappointing because, well, for a few reasons. One being, there weren't a lot of Saw in our Saw movies. There wasn't a lot of traps. That will say the traps that we did have, they were brutal. They were cool. Kind of different, in a sense, to the way that John and the other uh, Jigsaws would do it. They seemed like more contained, which I thought was an interesting choice. It was a little different, except for this last one was a little bit more extravagant, kind of what we become accustomed to in the later Saw movies. But I think for the most part, and I don't, I feel like you kind of expressed a similar sentiment as we're watching it, it was kind of slow. Uh, and kind of, I don't know, it didn't have that same sort of intrigue or same sort of thing that captures your attention. Because when you come into a Saw movie, at least as we've experienced, you come to expect certain things to happen. It starts with the initial opening uh, game, and then it goes into what who's actually doing this while the there's players learning a lesson while they're playing a game in addition to the cops trying to figure out what's going on as the games are happening. And I feel like without that active element of what's going on on this side of the things, it kind of creates drags. a sense of, yeah, it drags. It kind of creates a sense of this, uh, not having this balance, not having this harmony that we've come to uh, know over the course of these games. Also, I felt like, Listen, I like Chris Rock. I think he's a funny dude. And I've seen Sargo, Fargo season four. He's great in that. Like, he can really do this dramatic stuff if he really wanted to. I think just the way, I don't know if it was the writing or the directing, but I feel like there's a lot of things they wanted him to do, but that didn't mesh well. Like, the first third of the movie, he was just like Chris Rock, the comedian, you know, he had like a whole bunch of bits. Okay, he's like, he's this funny dude, but he also has this moral code, but he also is just very angry and just like, it just didn't mesh well. And I felt their points were like, we really want you to take Chris Rock seriously. And I'm like, no, <laughs> I can't because I just don't believe it. And I thought the killer was really obvious. For like most of the movie. I know I was making a lot of guesses here and there, but I feel like I was definitive, definitively locked in when they tried to do the misdirection of he had his body skinned alive. Because, one, we've come accustomed to the fact that with these games, there has to be some sort of lesson that the person who's being put into the games or being murdered is, uh, learning. is learning. But yeah. with that one in particular, there was no game. It was just death. And that doesn't track with the rest of what's going on. And... Maybe that's just me as an audience member who's consumed these movies, but I feel like with the people within this world, if you know that this is a Saw ripoff, or you know this is a Jigsaw ripoff, you should know, or maybe I would think, to, I don't know, study the behavior of Jigsaw or like read the books or something, because if you know that, there's there's this sense, uh, there's this motif, or there's this 
these thematic thing that he's trying to achieve within those those uh, those games, right? So it mm-hmm. just doesn't really track well. Yeah, also in those- it was shot well. That, I'll, I'll give the, I'll give it that the movie was shot yeah. very well, but. Yeah, it was, it was kind of a disappointing thing for me. Also, in the Tiffany boxes, we saw the kills happen on camera and then a slice of that Tiffany box body part being presented on camera. Mm-hmm. The one part we didn't get was the Charlie skin, which yeah. was like what he was saying. Like, we normally see a game and a lesson learned. And that that's like as soon as that popped up, it was like, wait, what? We haven't. We didn't see this, uh, which made it a little more obvious. I think um, they tried to set up some of the the glances and the looks around at the top. I think they were like trying to throw us off the set. I'm not sure who directed this or if they directed um, some other ones. But I do agree that in the beginning, it was a little slow. It it did feel like a cop drama in the beginning it kind of picked up pace once we got to a game which was exciting sometimes even with the saw stuff i'm like cool let's slow down on the gang uh, the game aspect and let's get into the stories of the people playing it which i really enjoy which feeds off on the games a lot better and this one was I don't know if like when it would get to the game, it was pretty quick and the buildup just seemed from the top obviously has to be a cop inside. There has yeah. to be a mole because we're just dealing with all these cops and and dealing with the backstory of like uh, Chris Rock's character being uh, giving away a cop and his dad being the captain and then him and the new chief being like, we'll take care of it. It just seemed um, to not even veer away from that even a little bit, which is why I think it felt slow in the beginning because we, we were like, Oh, we're setting the foundation. This is the foundation. We know where we're going. We're not going outside of it. We're not even going to take a guess as to like, could it be, wait, could it, uh, we've, I mean, you kind of felt that way within the characters that we, that we saw, but it was all, you knew that it was going to be a cop, like a cop that was close to him. And I think that's the problem that we never thought that it could be someone outside of, of his life or, um, a cop that maybe it's a cop's wife or I don't know anyone else in the outside world. It was all internal, which is fine. I just, uh, I, I don't know. The, you guys know, I think the last one I got really upset when the guy (laughs) sets down the, the, uh, you know, the the mask as though he's been there because he sets down the mask from one and he sets it down as though that guy has been there the entire time. Endings, when it's like that, I get upset. And that's the thing that I remember. This one, what I'm going to remember is that 35 SWAT team members came in and that guy in the elevator going down with a gate closing, the SWAT's not going to be like, hold that elevator. Who the F is this guy? And that guy's going to get away and just say, shh. This is not okay with me. <laughs> this is not that? okay with me. It's endings like that that I just go, come on, guys. We have to give our audience something more of like, uh, I don't know, a little more intrigue, treat I us think. Treat some respect, you know. Treat us like, like we're come smart. on. I did think, though, that the Samuel Jackson being up on the, on the puppet strings and then putting his arm up with the gun and then him being shot... I thought that was great. That's a that great game, a great setup. I loved like that moment. I loved. I was like, "Wow, that's a very smart thing." I wish that it was just set up a lot better to for that like payoff to really to really like hurt or gutterly hurt us, and then also be more of a surprise as to who was setting it up. That was the only clever thing in the movie. I agree. That what <laughs> that really was like. We didn't get. We still have not in these last ones gotten the switch where we went. Oh, and we got that for a little while in the beginning. Those first and few, yeah. We have not gotten that since, and that is that is upsetting to us because we've we've watched these back to back, which most people haven't. We're going through them, mm-hmm. um, and I hope that Ted, which we're going to watch, has some bait and switches or some surprises for us that we're not absolutely able to to call it. Um, in the beginning. I mean, you called it earlier than me, but like when you asked me about the arm, I was like, this is weird. It's, he's he's not dead. Like no. that's, he just, he just, it's like a little piece of skin he put there, right? Like yeah. this is a setup. And that was, yeah, I, I you know. It just didn't make sense. Yeah. It didn't make sense. Yeah, I think these last two were 
they were, both of them were, were kind of disappointing. Um, I think this one was more boring than yeah, it was boring and slow. Boring. It was. I'm sorry. It was uh, boring in addition to being disappointing. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. yeah, cause I think the uh, the last movie had better traps. I yeah, that was like very cool. And I feel like it was the trap aspect of things kind of harkened back to those earlier movies, which I did appreciate. Yeah, but this one, the, the traps are cool. Very few of them, mm-hmm. and I feel like the closest things we got to sort of the like for example when he had to save or like he was put to the test of saving his old partner that felt like something more akin to like the earlier saw movies mm-hmm. like having our lead go through like a journey or a gauntlet of experiences to teach them a lesson but yeah it just didn't utilize the games well and this movie was largely removed from all of the saw stuff from the original, because at least there's like some semblance of connection, but just like, oh yeah, I kind of know that guy, and I, I like what he was about, so I'm gonna do the thing that he was doing. But yeah, but there's not as much intrigue because it's all very much in house, and there's certain things that we did that. And I, correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe you have a better memory on this aspect of things than me. What was the whole point of going to his ex wife and talking about the kid and whatnot? Do you remember? There was no point except to go and talk to the wife to tell him that his partner, that the partner was dead and to establish that he had a kid Which that never we never came saw, back up. never came back up. I was trying to, as I was speaking it out, I was like, maybe I'll find a loop around. It never came back around. They didn't, I thought that they were going to use his son as a ploy. Yeah. But they only used his dad. Mm-hmm. So they didn't bring it back around. But to your point, like with the games, um, I, I don't remember which one this is from. But remember, there's an old woman and a guy tied together. And I think that guy did some shit. Like she, there was some weird stuff. But when we saw that game, and they were not leads. They're just a game in a part of that movie. And I don't remember the number. But I seriously felt for that woman and was like, yeah, let that guy die because I think he did some crazy ass shit and she just happened to be- I think that one was four. And she, okay. And she just had, but I, that game just popped in my head because I was like, they weren't even leads. It was just a game that we saw that I, but I really felt for both of the characters because of the setup and the foundation. These ones moved a little bit fast and for some it, like during the game, I was like, I don't know if I care as much that it's, I already know- that it's going to be all cops who are dying and it all just seems to be because they're dirty yeah. versus the other ones. There was a little bit like he did some shit. He he was touching people you shouldn't have and, you know, that you just go, oh, yeah, I can't wait to see you die. And these ones were just like, yeah, great. You're a dick and do deserve to die. Like you're a murderer, basically, in, in sheep's, in cop sheep's clothing. Um, yeah, because this more felt like revenge and the other traps at least when when john was doing it yeah is more his teach a lesson was about to teach a lesson yeah it was like a a violent ordeal to give somebody a chance of redemption in his eyes yeah and they were there was none of that they were just skipping right to it now i've kind of got it they're just skipping right to it of going and now the lesson you need to learn is because you shot someone and you must pull your fingers off or fall back and you'll be electrocuted. And you're like, but what is the lesson that he's learning in between pulling off of his fingers and being electrocuted? We didn't get any of those cops saying anything, seeing anything, feeling anything extra for them, except the little foundation that we set up. That's like, you're a dirty cop, which gets old after a second. Yeah, the thing about, yeah, this one didn't feel like a Saw movie. It felt like a dirty cop movie with the motif of the Saw sort of theme to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? yeah it, exactly. Yeah, because it was just like, okay, let's take this story. Okay, what's the thing that gets people intrigued with this kind of story of uh, the, because the, we've seen stories like this before in movies, you know, oh, the the entire uh, precinct is is uh, dirty. dirty, except yeah. for the main cop. Right. So like, okay, what's the thing to make people interested in going to see this movie? Okay, we'll, we'll make it a Saw copycat. And But they they did a Saw copycat without doing any of the things that make Saw Saw, that makes Saw interesting, that makes Saw, not not divisive, but like, I don't. there's like a code to what he's trying to do, and they like, because it's a copycat, they sort of miss the, the point of it, I guess? I don't know. They, I, they, I think they miss a point too. They miss be- the point. 
because it's like they use the same game over and over the same people of like you're a dirty cop and it's like well they've all they yeah they killed innocent people like we get it but there's something about it that i we didn't feel it with them like in there's other ones where you're sitting there with that character who's about to die and you're like can't wait till you die yeah (laughs) but like you really feel it in these for some reason i was like oh i felt the game the game is gross there's people that you root for and there's people that you hate and you can't wait to die and with these these games you felt none of none, that. none of it there was no like push and pull of like who's it gonna be and why oh shit why are we here with this person right now or why are we there and like who is setting this up is it gonna be revealed and it just sort of felt like yeah well i i guarantee you one of these people we've seen on camera in the first 15 minutes is the person mm-hmm. right it just felt that's what it felt like. It didn't keep me in the beginning. I was guessing a lot, right? I took a lot of guesses. Like, in the yeah. first five minutes, I was oh, like, yeah. they're giving weird glances, weird looks. And then after we went into it, you kind of go, all right, I see what we're doing here. Exactly. Which, yeah, it's, it's you know, it's disappointing. Uh, let's hope that 10 is is better and, and more fun and maybe puts in more of the Saw games. I would give, you know, this one probably a six. Um but yeah, I mean, I just, I wouldn't want to, I'm going to give it a six because I did really like that Samuel Jackson, the puppet thing. That was great. I love that. And also you guys, what is up with the Easter egg puppet pig thing in the butcher shop, <laughs> shop was just sitting there and no one noticed that except we did. Anyway, I'll give it I'll give it a six and I hope the next one's better. Also, if you guys are listening to this on Apple or Spotify, I'm supposed to say this like 30 hours ago, give this a rating. So if you're listening to this as a podcast, give us a rating, please. It super helps us. Um, and yeah, you shout out your rating, Aaron. Let's do it. You know, I think the thing that made me like the Saw movies was the games and also the 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 intrigue or like the the morality behind it. And I th- Another thing that would contribute to my rating would be the fact that what I recommend this to people or what I want to watch this again mm-hmm. with somebody that I know. And I have no desire to see this movie ever again. Yeah. Uh, so I'm probably going to go with like a 5.5. 5. Yeah. I No, a 5. I'm taking, I'm taking it to a 5 because it's not only not connected to the other movies, it just doesn't have any of the pizzazz or, or the intrigue of those other movies. So yeah, it's a 5 for me. Yeah, okay. I uh, we're, let's let's hope that it's better, guys. Leave a leave a like, leave a comment. Tell us what you thought. Um, you know, ring the bell, subscribe, do all the things. We'd love you so much. Thank you for going on this journey with us. If this is your first time listening or watching, we've gone through all of them. We're at number nine. We've gone through one through nine, and we've got ten left. And we're doing it soon, so we'll we'll do through the whole series. Get get on top of it. Join us. Uh, we love you so much, and we will see you on the next one. Bye. 